Hello and welcome to this second channel update from the Why Are You Shaking channel with myself, Waze. Firstly, a big thank you to all of you for sharing your time watching the channel. Time, the way I see it, is a very valuable commodity, so I cannot overstate my appreciation for your support. I'll try and keep this as short as I can. Uh, what I'm going to cover in this update is, firstly, a quick general overview on where I see the channel going, and uh, a quick apology as well for something. Uh, a quick review of my current LPs, so I'll do a quick review of Morrowind, Oblivion, and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Also, I want to announce my new upcoming Let's Play roleplay starting in January. And lastly, a poll for a subscriber-selected Let's Play that I talked about in the last update. So firstly, the general update and overview. Um, look, I want to apologize for my delay in replying to your comments over the last couple of weeks. I generally try and reply as soon as I can. But sadly, and unfortunately, I had to fly to England for my father's funeral. And I'm just back in Ireland now. Obviously, that was quite an, an emotional and stressful time, and it may take me some time to readjust. So please bear with me if I don't seem as responsive for a period of time. Thankfully, I had a good bank of episodes to keep the schedule going, so that just kept running um, without me having to do anything, which was, which was good. I will get to all the comments when I can. As I decided when I started this channel that I wanted to acknowledge every comment that people took the time to make, and I'd like to stick with that. The only exception being if someone has a tendency to give spoilers, then I don't really want to look at those comments for obvious reasons. Saying that, that hasn't been a problem so far, and I appreciate you all for, for that. You've been great. So please do keep them coming, as I, I, I genuinely love the interaction with you all. Okay, so back to the channel. We're up to nearly 270 subscribers now, which is quite a jump from just over 100 on my last channel update. So again, thank you to, to all of you for that. I am going to try and continue with three uploads a week if I can. There's a fair bit of work involved and I do have a day job as well. So any more than that would be a push. But I, I do want to try and keep three as the minimum. As a result of this, I'm finding I've actually got less time to play games I haven't played before. And this means that apart from the Elder Scrolls games that I have a fairly decent grasp on, I think the channel is going to be sort of leading towards a mostly blind playthrough channel. I'll touch a little more on this later and the challenges that that approach brings for me. Suffice to say that if you're looking for quick tips and tricks rather than someone figuring it out as they go, there are plenty of excellent channels out there that do this, but you won't find that here. I also will be sticking with a strong roleplay element where I can. There are some story-rich games I really want to play and, and add to the channel that, that, um, that will, may not lend themselves to strictly roleplay qualification, so that's just a heads up that I do plan on doing some of those in the future because there are a few... Also, a few short story or concept heavy games I may I may want to drop in from time to time as a little break from the norm. Right, so next, Morrowind. I'm happy enough where this is going so far. Story seems to be progressing nicely for Zasiri. I've been extremely lucky too that some of the story elements are overlapping quite nicely. As without that luck, it could have caused some problems regarding sort of late story coherence. I'm happy enough with that overall, and uh, I'd say we still have a, few, a good few episodes left in the series tale. Uh, we've got House Alalu, Thieves Guild, Morrow Tong, and the Twin Lamps quest as well to get through, so still plenty to get our teeth into there. Also on Morrowind, I've now updated Oak Morrowind to 0.47, which adds some really good improvements. Um, you won't see that kicking in though until episode 14. So that's Morrowind Oblivion. Now, John, Johnston and Fergus's journey, on the other hand, is far more chaotic, a bit like the two of them, really. This story is one that I'm chasing, and by that I mean I have a rough overall idea, but it's not as strong as a series with regards to conceptualization. But I'm actually enjoying allowing the character's development to lead me a little bit more in where this story goes. Also, like many of you have said in the comments, I'm... I'm I'm not a massive fan of Fergus, or at least I wasn't to begin with. However, I think he's now become a critical part of the story, along with being critical for helping Jonsson's character survive. So he's definitely grown on me, and I don't think the story would now feel quite right without him. He's as chaotic and inept as Jonsson at times, but as a duo, they managed to bumble across the line. So we've completed the Windfall Quest mod, and there are still others to do. I have no idea how long this will take, or whether I will even look to complete them all yet. That may depend on Jonston and Fergus. 
The two I am going to focus on are the Aeliad Steps and the Lost Spires. The other, the other two I have in there, Kragoneer's Death Quest and Way. Those ones um, I think I may just dip in and out of, but nothing's confirmed there either way. We'll just see how that goes. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. As many of you will know or may have guessed, Vampire the, the, the Masquerade is near, nearing conclusion and there, I, there aren't many episodes left. I've, I've really enjoyed uh, this playthrough so far, despite some of its bugginess. And I can only concur with the prevailing view that it is indeed a flawed masterpiece. I've also learned from doing this that playing games blind can lead to bigger challenges for me as a, as a let's player, let's role player. Such as, if I mess up on my character build or make a wrong choice earlier in the story, it can put me in a very sticky situation. If I'm playing the game on my own, that's not such a big deal as I can just go back, reload an earlier save and carry on. However, when I'm trying to tell a story and videos have already been uploaded, this option sort of disappears. This has led to some scary moments where I was actually thinking, oh god, I'm actually not going to be able to finish this. I may have to abandon the LP because I just can't do it. <laughs> so I've completed the game now, but those moments were very real. On the plus side, it did force me to persevere, to try again, to adopt different strategies, rather than maybe skipping something or applying a cheat to get over the, over the hump. Maybe in the long run, this might actually make me good at games. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. So what I will need to do is in future is some deeper research on character creation and try and do this in a way that's spoiler free for, for blind playthroughs. So valuable lessons learned. Okay, so new upcoming Let's Play. In or Let's Plays, should I say. In the short term, I plan on doing a couple of smaller games, some fillers between the bigger LPs. Um, I will try out a few of these, see how I go, but a couple of things I've been thinking about, things like the Stanley Parable, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice, and a few others. I don't know yet, it's just an idea in the embryonic stages at the moment. What I am going to be doing is I'm going to do a full blind playthrough of Disco Elysium. From what I've read, it's a perfect role-playing game. I'll say more about that when I start it, but I, I expect that to begin in January. And lastly, uh, the, the quick the poll for another blind playthrough. I want to have another one lined up uh, for the next break in Oblivion. And I've narrowed this down to four choices. So option one is Dragon Age 2. I've selected two because I only just recently completed one and I want this to be a blind run. I've read that two is supposedly the worst of the three, but I don't want to play three before two because my head couldn't cope with that. Option two, Planescape Torment, an older game. I can't believe I haven't played it already, but I haven't. Uh, that's meant to be brilliant for role play and has a fantastic story. Lots of reading in this one, I believe, but I, I think it could be a good one to do. Option three, L.A. Noir, uh, a different kind of game to what I've played already, a violent crime thriller, but allegedly it has a very good atmosphere and story. And the last option is The Outer Worlds. This one's, a, a, for those who don't know, a space role-playing game that by all accounts is an ex excellent for, for role-playing with a good story where the character build and play style has a large impact on where the story goes. So I like the sound of that one too. I've added the Steam uh, links to the games in the description if you're so inclined to have a look. As I haven't played these games, I'm basing my opinion on reviews online, trying to be, read between the, the lines. However, what, what matters here is which one you choose. So to keep it simple, I've added a link to a poll. You don't have to have an account or log in or anything like that. Just click the game, click the link, and then click, uh, click on the game you'd like to see me play. I've actually set it up so you can pick more than one if you'd like. And I've decided to go with straw poll. So thanks to dealer for that suggestion. And I think that about wraps it up. The link to the poll I'll, I'll put in the, uh, as the top comment. So you can just click on that and go straight through. So yeah, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're well, that you have a great Christmas and New Year. And until next time, take care.